we have a mango throw uh, it's a liquid damage low power it's an a1990 this is a 15 inches and it also says here that is urgent let's take it apart and see what we're dealing with um, this has already been to the ice store it's uh it's already been assessed uh, so let's see if we can revive the device. First and first, let's get to know what state the device is in. Let's see how much damage uh, the liquid did to the board. Covers out. Okay, this same is fairly clean from the back. Um, okay, um, I'm not sure why they said it's a liquid damage device it doesn't seem like it uh, okay first thing first since it's an a1990 let's see if it's uh, one of the common issues of the a1990 which is a c1981 is that correct Peter? c1981 okay so let's uh let's see if we have a shoulder now pp boss line And yeah, we have a short. So um, this may may be an issue with C9081. Uh, let's quickly take the board out and see if that's the case. And uh, let us also hope that uh, we do not have issue with. Uh, let's hope we don't have issue with uh, with the NAND. It's like the one we had yesterday. What's? Can see. Casey, good. You just give it. Just give us a few minutes, eh? Yeah, please. Those are almost all out. Okay, see your machine did there, right? Make it the check on first. Okay, the board is out. Let's uh, put the shell on the side. Let's go to the area of C9081. Okay, so C9081 is definitely um, damaged. Uh, let's quickly open that up, give you guys an idea what that is. 
C9081, it, uh, say it's at the edge of the board here. And that often fails uh, due to build up of dust here. You get build up of dust and then and, and a bit of uh, humidity on that side. It, it tends to uh, cause the cap to fail. And that cap, that cap, when that now when that cap fails, you two things, uh, two issues usually happens. Sometimes that cap will fail, and because that it's uh, um, that it's uh, that is an impute voltage line to your U ninety eighty. So sometimes what happens is U ninety eighty is a bulk converter. It's supposed to take a high voltage, and it's supposed so that is basically the two point five. That is uh, the two point five volt regulator for your NAND. Now that cap sits on the line of U ninety eighty, which is uh, which is uh, uh, which is the voltage to U ninety eighty. Usually what happens sometimes is when that cap gets destroyed, it also destroys U9080, it blows up U9080, and then U9080, instead of sending 2.5 volts to your NAND, it sends it sends the PP bus voltage, which is about 12.6 volt to one of one or more of your NANDs. And then what happens is you have a damage on that starts from C90, C9081, which then goes to U9080, and then which eventually now damages your NAND, and then you have a machine that you have to replace your NAND, you have lots of data machine would not start and then you have lots of data so usually a failure like this uh, will be divided into sometimes the the, the problem or the, the the failure would only be contained within c9081 so sometimes the problem or the issue will only be contained in c9081 and um, so when c9081 it's not it's not in the circuitry then you 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 have a functional machine now you you, you wonder so if you see this is pp bus underscore g3 hot underscore ssd underscore SS, ssd uh, ssd o which is uh, uh, the, uh, and then underscore uh, 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 sns which is uh, which is uh, basically a, a sensor line now that that it's not directly on the PP bus line. So how does how does it make it to the PP bus? So that it makes it makes it to the PP bus line through a current sensing resistor here, which is R5620. Now R5620 is a bridge between the, the main PP bus line and your SSD uh, uh, power line. So uh, which is uh, which is for U9080. Now, usually when you get a short there, you will get a short on your previous line because of you uh, because of R5620. So what we want to do now is we want to hope that the cap, which is this, this is the cap here. That's usually what fails. As you guys can see there, that's usually what fails. And uh, this is usually, um, this is 9 out of 10. Uh, this is very common on the A1990s. 9 out of 10. You get accumulation of dust on both sides, and then over time, you get a, you get a C9081 failing. A C9081, yeah, C9081 failing. So what I usually like to do is, uh, as, a prevent, as a preventive measure, uh, what I do is uh, when I remove C9081, hopefully that the issue is only contained in C9081. I don't put it back because putting it back, it's more like you are... A kind of a postponing the issue to happen again because it's a circle. It's going to happen again. You get built up of dust, and then and then you, the, the same thing will happen again after a year or two. The same thing happens, and then the cap fails again. And sometimes you may not be as lucky as just the cap failing. Sometimes it may be that the cap fails, uh, uh, and it also basically damages U980. And then when when that happens, you get a damaged lines, and then you have to replace your lines, and then you have to, which means you you also lose your data. So what we what we are going to do is uh, we're just going to use a screwdriver to just remove C ninety eighty one from the circuitry. A tweezer, uh, okay. So that is out of the circuitry. The next thing we want to do is we want to see if we still have a short on our PP bus line. Okay, that's good. At least uh, that's a good one. So now we, you see, guys, we no longer have a short. So it means our problem was only contained we didn't see 9081 so like i said i'm not going to put it back because if we put it um and then uh, let's uh, just quickly uh, give you guys an idea so uh if we go to uh the schematic real quick here Let's uh, search for C9081. 
Now, we see that C9081, it's one of the four cards that are on that line. So with C9081 not being on that line, we are still 100% good to go. We do not, it's not composed with that. We must have C9081 on that, on that. I mean, um, I would, I would say I would, I would have to add it back. But the reason why I don't want to add it is, um, uh, adding it, it's it's basically um, uh, uh, starting the same circle again. Over time, the, the same the same thing will happen, and then the machine will also fail in that fashion. So that's why we are not going to add C9081 back to the circuitry. So we're just going to clean this. Uh, suppose we should be having a working machine now. So we we are not we are not really sure why this was diagnosed as a liquid damage device. I suppose because of uh, that, that, that um, the, the condition of, of, of the cap they saw, I suppose they thought that that was uh, caused by liquid, um, but not really liquid. And also another thing I, I also, which is also why I like it, I do not like to connect power to my device until I am sure what state it is. Imagine we're having a PP bus short, and sometimes the short will not, sometimes the short will be will be partial, and then you send voltage to it, and then the cab blows up, it blows you 9080, and then you get, so uh, it's just, it's, it's just always safe before you, you know, uh, run power to your device or connect charger to your device to so just be sure what state the device is in, especially the A1990s. Now, personally, when the device is a low power, I do not uh, put power to it until I can confirm what state the device is in using my multimeter. Only then will I connect charger to it. Until then, I do not connect charger to a low power device. Okay, let's see if we have a working device now. We hope we do. By the way, um, so usually um, I have not had any comeback as uh, um, uh, because of not putting back um, C9081. So it's it's not like um, this is not a trial type of repair. It's it's uh, it's it's tested. It's something that um, it's 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 a method we have used before, and this is also also better for the board because uh, putting back U9081 is actually repeating the the, the circle. So. We connect the cables. Okay. Ingo, it's on for you. Of the time to So what do you update on to? You can go check out for you. have a screw or two here to hold the board in place. Okay, now we can connect power to the device. Mm. 
We have trackpad feedback. Yes, we have trackpad feedback. We have Apple logo. And uh, we hope in any moment from now we should be booting. Yes, the device is booted. I'm just trying to cover up the client's username. Uh, can you see that? Okay, so this is uh, this is a computer repair. Uh, okay. So um, that's it. Um, it's uh, it was an issue of a C ninety eighty one, shorting out your our PP boss line, and uh, we obviously first thing we had to do was to. Uh, confirm that's that's the case uh, we did confirm that and um, yeah we basically have a working machine so we want to quickly put it back together and then we can inform the client to come and collect the machine uh, Peter do you have any question this is I mean you're very familiar with this repair yeah Okay, but it's important before you before before you, you you just you jump to conclusion to always you know to make sure you have all your answers. Okay, I'm just going to leave this for Peter to finalize. This is going to take too much of our time. We have other jobs to do. Uh, you guys can see we already have, uh, we have tested it. We have a working device. Peter will uh, put the device together, test it further, and then uh, inform the client that we have a working machine. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.